What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some more Watcher of Realms. Today we're back on the Epics Only account, and if you're an astute viewer, you may notice our level has jumped up quite a bit higher than it was in the last video. Um, that's not because we're making bunches of off-camera like progress, it's just because we unlocked that XP raid, we unlocked promotion raids, so I did auto-fight those quite a bit. Um, I leveled up a lot, so my energy doesn't look like it's changed much. I might actually have more than I did before, um, but... We needed all that stuff to get our heroes upgraded to make sure we're making progress in the campaign, which is what our goal today is going to be. I would like to unlock the arena today, which means we got to get all the way to the fifth missions, and we're in... Eh, we're pretty, pretty early on in four, so we've got to do a lot of these, and at least one in Chapter 5 to unlock the arena. That's kind of the goal. Before we jump into that, though, a couple things we need to do. First, I'm going to check the shop for you. So this is what I was talking about when I told you it's really important to unlock your shop slots. Um, grabbing out rare summon crystals like this, they were only 70 diamonds instead of 88. It's just cheaper summonings. Might as well grab them. Um, so those showed up, snagged them out. There you go. That's why you unlock those slots. Um, I guess we have one more refresh. We can go ahead and pop anything special in here. Grab you, you're cheap. All right. So with that said, probably need to upgrade our heroes now just because we've got tons of XP to do. And I might even star a couple of them up. Um, we'll just start up here and I... Wish that, I don't know when you unlock the upgrade to max button, but we're just going to go ahead and take these two. I believe I have enough to go all the way to 40 um, with all of my dudes. Bam. There we go. So we could star her up. Actually, we do have enough of these purple Sigic powers to take her to a 5 star. I'm not going to take her to 5 star first, mainly because her attack is pretty low. And I would rather take, like honestly, even Voltus to 5 star first because he just does more raw damage. That said, we're going to keep pumping these dudes up. Go ahead and get everybody up to level 40. Boop. Get you up to level 40. Now, honestly, when it comes to Hollow and Edril, I might take these up. I'm kind of torn. Between, cause I, I know I'm going to use Hollow late game, like for sure. She's just a good hero. Uh, Voltus might get changed out relatively early for Navras because he's a fusible hero. And I already have all the stuff to fuse him. I just need to obviously upgrade it um, to get him there. But... Voltus is a, a good early game damage dealer, so I can't be too upset. I'm definitely going to star up Eadril, though, because she's just good. You know what I'm saying? She's just good, and I want her to be a little more powerful. So we're going to go ahead and pop her up to five stars. Bam, that'll give her quite a bit more stats. She's going to be a force to be reckoned with right now. Um, we also need to be doing promotions on these people. I forgot about that. So we should have enough to promote everyone that we're using currently up to Awaken 3, or uh, Promotion 3. More raw stats, better range, can't really argue with any of that stuff. Go ahead and do that one more time. Beautiful. There we go. Now, we will eventually obviously need to go and start getting some of these. And I think you start unlocking those in just the next promotion right up. So it won't be too hard to get these unlocked where we can start farming those and get our dudes awakened up at least four times. The fifth time is going to be a bit of a hitching point though because of these... Um, they're a little more rare to drop. They're not quite as easy to get, so that'll probably slow us down for a little while. Um, let's go ahead and just promote everybody up, though, since we've already got the stuff. I don't know why she has a special video for promotions and no one else does. You're not special! I mean, you're a little special. Oop, there we go. Nine three star here. It's gonna get quite a bit of stats for everybody, which is gonna be nice. I got tons of these, but I do have, like, a ton of people to, you know... This is a big upgrade, though, for her. That massive, that wider range, that's huge. Um, it's just, trust me, that's big. That is big good. <laughs> so there we go. Got her to promotion three as well. Now, I'm gonna definitely promote you three times. One, that attack range boost is nice, because right now it is abysmally sad, and I don't like that. Um, there we go. Getting everybody upgraded right now. I'm not sure, I mean, I don't have enough to promote this guy at all, because I don't have the stuff for him. Oh, that reminds me. Ain. That reminds me about Ain. I guess I can go ahead and just promote her as well because I am using her right now. And the resources that it uses to promote to 3-star isn't like... It's not that crazy expensive or anything. So let's go ahead and pop her up as well. Um, and... I don't have another tank right now, so you're just going to have to be the guy we use. And I'm going to run you. Gonna, I'm going to make you a thing. So there we go. I might pump Maureen up. I think I will, just because her defense reduction in her skills is pretty nice. Um, you don't get that off a lot of heroes, so having it, eh, not gonna be upset about it. Oh, she gets a special video too. What are you looking at? Oh God! Never seen a hook before. <laughs> her, her voice. Ugh. No. 
So the single reason I muted the game when I started playing was this chick's voice lines. We're gonna go ahead and skip that so you don't have to hear it again. There we go. Bam. Alright, so pretty much everyone we're running other than our fighter has now been uh, promoted up to grade 3. I am gonna go ahead and star you up though. I've got some of these little 3 star psychic powers. I might as well. Um, plus, I need you to do a lot of magic damage, so we're gonna do that. Go ahead and pump you all the way to 40. Boop, 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 boop. And do I star him up? I don't think so. I'm gonna save on those, those four star psychic powers for now, and I'll use them later at my own discretion. Uh, but that should make everyone quite a bit better. Did I get any good gear that I bought out of here? That bonus isn't bad. I could use that. It's not as good as flat attack right now, but... Anything else special in here? I did buy a bunch of crap. No? Okay, what about the armors? I bought a bunch of armors, too. Defense, HP, defense, attack bonus. That's not bad. Any flat attackers in here? No? Nerds. <laughs> Whatever. I don't really necessarily need it too bad right now. I could be upgrading their skills. Probably should be. Am I? No. Got a new thing. Check it out. Mm, snag you out just because. But I'm not going to look at it. We're going to jump into the campaign. Just kidding. I lied. I lied again. You caught me, right? <laughs> I forgot. Give me this guy. Okay, so here's our new fighter. He's going to replace probably Borat. I'll probably keep him in the lineup for now just because he's there. Um, but having a multi-ranged... or a, Yeah, see his attack range. He attacks two squares in front of him. Very, very nice. Um, that's going to be good. You can throw him behind a tank and still deal damage. Very good. Very happy with that guy. We got some stuff. Give me some stuff. I'll take stuff. I like stuff. <gasps> Summoning crystal. I like that stuff a lot. Okay, so. Boop. Should I, do I have enough to go ahead and max you out? 147,000. I do believe that will take you all the way to 40, my friend. So let's just go ahead and do that. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the insta upgrade to max is definitely a nice button, and I am missing it. 100 or 1500 damage, not bad for having a naked no gear on. Where's that attack bonus one? Did I have an attack bonus one? My brain is saying I did indeed have an attack bonus. Aha! I did. Alright, we'll put this on him. Go ahead and get him kind of geared up where he's not, you know. I mean, he's already pretty strong. I think he has probably one of my highest attack stats <laughs> with no gear on. 18%. That's a pretty good roll. I'll take that. And then we definitely had a piece of gear with attack bonus on it. I remember because I saw it with my eyes. There we go. Pop this on him as well. And then I'll give him a good uh, a good amount of damage. Oop. And oop. Alright. Now that one didn't roll nearly as well, but it doesn't really matter. This is going to all get replaced fairly soon. So he's already like 20 what? 2300-ish damage? Not bad. Okay, so with that said, now we get into the campaign and start making progress. It should be, I would say, relatively simple. Who do I, I guess, that, you know what, I lied when I said I'm going to keep you around. I'm not going to keep you around. I'm going to put you in instead because you give better buffs and you're simply better. 46,000 power in the team so far, so we are definitely far, far beyond what we need for this. Um, do I have two crystals to protect? Of course I do. But what if a feller defended both of them with this guy? Like that. Oh, it's genius. And then we're going to put you in, boop, right here, to stop people right in front of him, and he'll just poke you all to death. Perfect. Plan is coming together fantastically. Um, that probably works. Boom. So these guys are getting absolutely rinsed on, which I kind of expect them to. Get our healer out. I don't think we'll need it too bad right away, but see how that range... Oh, that range is so nice. Gotta love a good range boost. Yeah, these guys are getting, like, just decimated. Get Voltus out over here on this side to cover this, and then we should be... You probably don't even need to put anybody else out. I will, but we don't probably need to. Just to speed along the progress, I'll have you aiming down that, and I'll probably put you... I don't know, up here or something? These guys are getting just, they're not even getting to people, which is great. I'll put you here, probably here. The earlier you shoot them, the better, and I'll just throw Camille to keep you healed. And there we go. Pop you just like that. Eh, yeah. There we go. These guys are going to go down relatively fast. I don't think it'll be any kind of issues. What do you do, my friend? You don't have like a stinky range on you. Does he, like, explode when he dies? 
No? I don't know. Weird. Usually those guys have like auras around them that hurt you, so I'm not really... I guess we can check them out real fast. Who are you? Let's look for your picture. You're this guy. You're a zombie. Okay. Oh, they just heal, I guess. Eh, whatever. It's not gonna have... Oh, I guess, yeah. I guess I would've just looked at him for like two seconds, I would've realized that's what happened. <laughs> not important. I don't really want to freeze things up here just in case like she takes too long to kill them. I'd rather them go ahead and get around and let Voltus kill them. In fact, I probably should have had Voltus where she is, dropping all the damage, but... Eh, is what it is. There we go. Last two dudes. Boom. Easy. I don't know if... I don't think... I don't even know if Aim got a chance to poke anybody. I feel kind of sad. He definitely wanted to. He was like, I'm all about the pokins. Oh crap, I forgot to level her up. I don't have enough stuff to level her up. <laughs> but there's the overflow XP I was talking about. Once you have max level units, the XP isn't necessarily wasted. You just get a reduced amount and it's given back to you in potions. Um, so you can use those. Boop. There we go. Four or five completed. Just keep on rolling through here. I don't think we'll have any issues. I think we're well above the power range. In fact, I have my other account pulled up over here. I can take a quick peek see. What have we for Chapter 5 on the normal modes? The last wave in Chapter 5 is like 56,000 power recommendations. So that's not bad. We'll go ahead and just pop you in up here because you need to cover the lanes with the bugs. And then we will probably... I could go pretty heavy on this side. I think what I'm going to run is something like this. So she can attack both sides. And then we're gonna run you. I'm gonna just put you right here to poke these dudes. You missed. Um, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> doesn't matter. I'll run you here. Mm, do I, how am I gonna put my healer? It doesn't matter. It does matter a little bit, but not really that much. I'm just gonna have you cover kind of this thing and shoot things early. I'm probably going to do the same with you. I'm going to aim you up. That way you kind of shoot everyone a little bit with your lightning bolts. And I think she should be enough to... These two people should take care of this lane. Shouldn't have any problems there. I could run you like this. I'm going to heal everyone kind of in the middle here. The attack's not quite bouncing, I guess. They're too long, the lizards. Here's the healer. Not going to be an issue. I don't think she'll be healing a whole lot of people because she's going to be dead. <laughs> but, boop. Yeah. So I'm, I don't think I'll need Rex. There's a chance I do. I'm actually going to just leave this crystal undefended over here and put him on this. Just in case something tries to sneak around this back line. Um, she'll be able to attack it until it dies. Yeah, so far this is just not a problem. Think. I mean, how did you take damage? Who hit you, my friend? I don't know, but we'll top you off. Don't need to top you off, but we'll do it anyway. Alright, last couple enemies coming up soon. Guess I could probably just pop these guys' ults to make this a hair faster, but... There we go. Everybody done. Two missions down, like ten more to go. <laughs> we got, got a lot of progress to make up today. Here we go. Oh, gear rate has been unlocked. There we go. That's something I definitely needed to unlock as well. Maybe we will not make it all the way to uh, the end. Well, I'd like to still finish out the chapter, but it's going to make us run probably a gear raid. This is where you fight to get your gear sets. The higher you go up, the gear sets will change. Um, I don't know. Do you even get juggernaut gear out of this? I can't remember. Yeah. Okay, so for the early... Okay, it's going to make me fight it. Okay. I'll do it because you're making me. But yeah, you change out your gear sets later. It's like the gear set I'm using right now, the Juggernaut set. You will not be using that for very long at all. I'm just going to go ahead and pop a fighter out here. And probably Navra or not <laughs> Navros. I wish Boltus, because he does a lot of magic damage. I don't know how hard the early stages are. I would assume they're fairly simple. Um, oh, God. Yeah, they're just getting absolutely bent over sideways. It might pop out the exploding tanks. I don't know if it brings in like the ballistas that shoot like exploding arrows on this one or not. I mean, we'll see, I guess. But that's definitely later on it does. But these little fortifications here are like little extra walls they have to fight through. Um, 
to get to your crystals. So you don't necessarily need fighters in this stage. You can run all magic damage and all platform tiles and still beat it um, just because they have to sit here and stop anyways. There we go. Get a little bit of these guys going down. There we go. He had quite a bit of health. But that was the last guy. Pretty simple. Not too hard. We got all kinds of gear. I wonder if that's just guaranteed gear that you, it makes you have for the first time you complete it. Maybe that's what it is. Minute and a half on the gears. That's purple gear. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. And this is actually really solidly rolled gear for early game attack bonus and crit rate. And it's purple, so it goes to plus eight instead of just plus four. Um, plus, we got another attack bonus weapon. So I can't really argue with that stuff. Fairly decent. Um, but... Once you get to like, where is it, stage six, you can start unlocking purple gear, but you'll notice the sets down here, uh, the Juggernaut set doesn't exist anymore. Everything transitions over to your percent based stat bonuses. Bonuses? Yes, bonus. Um, because those are typically just gonna be stronger anyways. Then as you go down, you'll unlock new gear sets like here. These are stronger versions essentially of the sets before it. And then if you get way down here, you'll end up with even stronger sets. Um, but I'm not even there on my main, so not too worried about that. That'll be a, a hot minute out for sure. Um, but there we go. Unlocked gear raid. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if I want to just kind of push that as high as I can right now. Can I even get to purple gear? Ooh, my doubt levels are very high. Um, maybe we won't worry about that right now. We'll just kind of focus the campaign down. Boop. Don't want that. Or, you know what I do kind of want to do? I need to promote you. What the heck? Why are you unpromoted? Suffer, weaklings. Yeah, poking people. There we go. Get you some, you can even have his passive, unbelievable. What a fool I am. A bit. That purple gear is fairly solid, so we can go ahead and just auto enhance that up to eight. Still gonna go one by one, huh? Later down the road, I'm not sure when, it unlocks the auto enhance feature like that, but it doesn't do it one by one. It just blitzes out all of the upgrades in the background and shows you what it cost at the end. Um, there we go. Come on. Ugh. Poop. But not bad. I mean, it's, actually, it's better than what he's got just because, or she's got. But we'll go ahead and pop this on as well just because. Ugh, do I want to? Screw it. We won't. Um, the flat attack is just stronger right now, so we're not going to worry about going for attack bonus. One crystal to defend. That should be pretty easy. Go ahead and knock this out. Um, everyone's got to come through here. How do we want to do that? I mean, we could do it this way. I'm gonna, although some things might come up on this northern route. And that would be a little annoying because then this guy won't be getting his pokey pokies out. But he's doing just fine for now. I'm going to go ahead and attack these dudes early because they sit down here and wait. I'm going to drop. Who do I want to drop on you? I guess I can just drop Boltus. That way you can hit both of you at the same time. I wipe those dudes out. They have pretty heavy attack. I mean, they're not going to be too hard, obviously, for us right now, just because they're just not. <laughs> but, um, but get this chick up here. But yeah, if you let those guys, like, kind of run up, they can, like, smack down fighters really fast. They have crazy high attack. So you kind of want to block really high attack um, enemies with your tanks and not your fighters. Some fighters can survive it, some fighters can't. You just kind of find that out as you play. Pop you in, and are you gonna reach her up there? No, but the odds that she takes a lot of damage, I would say is fairly low. All right, so we had a little hitch in the recording there. No big deal, we're back. We beat the mission, as kind of figured that was gonna happen. Be shocked if I lost, but there we go. Got that one done. Still got quite a ways to go though, and these are starting to take a little bit longer just because they're spawning more enemies at a time. Um, I'm kind of wondering, I don't really need AoE damage. I did upgrade this little lizard bro back here. He does like an AoE attack and he has a pretty solid range. Um, but for now, Zs, I could probably just drop my second healer. Just throw him in there just in case. Will we need him? I mean, probably not. But his range is nice, so I don't know if I pop him out the first because that might be just bad news bears. Um, we'll just go ahead and do the kind of the same setup here. We have one crystal to defend. We'll pop aim down first. I, we probably don't even need to pop Rex, to be honest, um, just because he's going to, like, one-shot everything. But we'll pop this guy down just to show you. 
that his range is is oh never mind i haven't promoted him twice <laughs> when i promote him the next time he'll get another square i'm gonna pop him here anyway Boop. Boop. So he does hit a couple people at a time which is nice um but he'll get an extra tile over here which is a pretty good uh range for like especially a rare hero he can shoot very far and he has aoe damage which is also nice we'll go ahead and pop you here just to make sure nobody's absolutely sneaking by me i don't like it when people sneak warning we got a boss coming in or something i don't know pop you down we do well there we go we're gonna go ahead and pop a healer here just in case he does damage i don't know if he will i don't think we'll be in any kind of real trouble here but you do kind of never know pop her down for a little bit more damage slowing things down oh he's gonna chill right here well that's interesting do I disrespect him and just put someone at him to start shooting him? Yes, I do. That's exactly what I do. And when she pops her ult heal, oh, there we go. She can shoot him as well. There we go. Yeah, she'll probably <laughs> just kill him before he even gets to move. Oh, yeah, he heals up and comes back. That's right. I forgot. I might have made a mistake by popping you so early. Just kidding. We're fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. Okay, last three enemies. Dead. Alrighty, there we go. Not too bad. I didn't remember there was going to be a boss there. But there was. Kind of a boss, I guess. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't too bad. A lot of the bosses have a tendency to come back to life once you kill them. So once you, once you take them down, you're never actually sure it's over until it's actually over. I guess I should have paid attention. That means there's a boss, I think. A little boss head so there's a boss and all of those this is a tutorial mission i guess oh it's about splash damage oh good it's just locked into two units Alrighty then so <laughs> i guess we'll use these units <laughs> okay so this one yeah okay they they hit for aoe damage they're essentially trying to teach you don't put your units on these two platform tiles if you're dealing with splash damage because She'll be able to attack them and hit them, so you want to put them behind, and they shouldn't be hit. I'm like, fairly certain? Yeah. That way, they're not getting, you know, murked, and your tank is taking all your damage and not your platform tiles. You don't deal with that all that often in the game. I mean, there is splash units that pop up occasionally, but it's not like an every mission kind of thing. you got to worry about it, so I guess nice to throw it in there, but... I mean, I, you'd figure it out probably after you wipe to it a couple of times. Like, hmm, this is really annoying. Um, one crystal to thin. That's fantastic. I love seeing one crystal missions. Go ahead and pop you up like so. We got what? This is is this, this is nine or ten. I don't remember. But we'll do the same kind of strat as before. Get him down here. Actually, I think we do get some AoE fighters on this one to come in and start hitting us in uh, those little red mages. That's probably why they put the tutorial there. You know, makes sense. Pop you here. These guys are getting literally one jabbed by this dude. Um, I think... I mean, generally you want to cover the middle here, but I think he's going to kind of have it. And I want to say that the uh, the red dudes come down the side here. I could be wrong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're starting to not get one poked. So we'll put you here to make sure they are staying one poke. Yeah, get poked. So there we go. Yep, he does come down the side just like that. Oh, nice. It shows you his attack range. That's great. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and throw Rex down just because there are a few people kind of showing up. And it's not going to stop him from attacking either, so it's not a big deal. I think we'll throw you on this side, maybe? And I need to put my healers... I only got one healer now. <laughs> this lizard bro may very well die. <laughs> That's just a possibility. If I put you here... That won't be great. If I put you here, that is better. I will put you here, and then I can throw another person out here. Um, where do I want to put you at, though? I'll just do it like that. That'll be fine. And then I guess we can just... Yeah, whatever. If you die, you die. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, she's taking, like, no damage. What am I worried about here? I forgot that we, we're probably, like, grossly overleveled for the current enemies we're fighting, so... It's a good thing. Not, I'm not upset about that at all. But, yeah, I don't need to be quite as careful with placement, because I doubt we're going to end up getting, you know, mare-dared 
by the dudes. Boop, and dead. Okay, so they're not really even making it. Like, a, a couple of times they got up here, but they're not really making it past the damage. They're kind of just falling off early, and that's good. I like that. That means we're where I want to be in terms of our power levels. Okay, so that was 10. We only got 5 left to go. That won't be too bad. Right? 5 is math. Math is 5. Alright, so we'll go ahead and knock these dudes out as well. Get up. We might not do the arena today. We might save the arena for tomorrow because we did unlock Gear Raid. And I do want to get Ain promoted as well. So we have two crystals, but it's not that big of a deal just because we have, uh, you know, one entrance to both crystals. So we don't really have to worry too bad about that. I'm probably going to put you right here just because I like you there. And then I'll go ahead and free up these tiles to place dudes on. I put that in 2x. Oop. And then I'll probably put you aimed up that way. And I can throw my healer over here to heal all those tiles. Ooh. She makes it. She might get El smoko She did. Oops. Should be fine. <laughs> it's good for you. Hmm. I think they take less magic damage. I'm like 14% sure of that. So don't quote me there, but pop you here just to get some AoE damage out. Oh, he hits this guy over here when he does that? That's crazy. Not bad. He doesn't have crazy high attack, but the fact that he can hit so many different enemies at once is kind of sick. Pop you here. There we go. Yeah, healer going to keep you alive for sure. Boom. And then we'll probably pop you right here. Yeah. That seems to be the way. I could put the tank down, but we've only got like six enemies left, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. I would like the enemies to appear. <laughs> there you go. We'll just try to burst them down, I guess. One at a time. Never mind. We're not doing a lot of bursting. I'm going to go ahead and just pop his ult. There you go. Those archers are starting to hit a little bit harder, but also you got to remember your platform tiles have way 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 less defense than ground units that way that's why your, your fighters and your tanks they don't take nearly as much damage um but yeah your platform tiles are pretty squishy they're usually better at dealing with incoming magic damage than they are at physical damage but eh. right now we can easily out heal it and i do always have a second healer i can bring in if i feel like it's becoming an actual issue but right now it's not really a problem so also we'll unlock a new hero slot at 415, so that'll be nice to have another extra unit to bring with us. We got two crystals here. Looks like multiple entrances, but what we can do here is a little bit of interesting placement to put you here to cover these two tiles, and then put Rex here. And that should stop everyone in their trackages. Go ahead and pop that on 2x. Put you here. And then we'll start worrying about taking these dudes down. Um... You should reach him. Oh, yeah. Not a problem. We got quite a bit of health. And we'll probably pop you here to shoot the other one. Yeah, go ahead. Take those dudes out. That'll be nice. And we got one more back here in this back corner. I could place someone over there to attack them. But if you do spread your dudes out a little bit too thin, you can start getting a... You know, taken down by the, uh, what you call them, by the archers. We're going to do it just like this for now anyway, because that's the only portal. And I'm just going to heal. I'm going to heal this way. That seems to make more sense, a couple more people. But there we go, yeah. He's getting at least a little bit more of his out of his bounce attack here. Taking out some dudes. And then, I guess I'll just throw you here. Because why not? Yeah, I think we'll get this guy taken down before he even gets a chance to move. That's great. There we go. That's what you kind of like. That's what you like to see. All right. Everyone's kind of already wiped out and haven't had to worry too much about anything. I'll throw you here just because I forgot they could go that way. Um, not going to be a problem, though. I mean, they haven't even gotten to, like, the, the danger squares where everyone attacks them. Yeah, we got this in the bag. Um, it's definitely nice having a really good healer. Good pop your ult so you can start shooting people you can't actually shoot. Perfect. Um, but yeah, having a great healer is really nice. It makes the game a lot easier. Can you get by with Camille? Yes. 
Um, but you can see how having that too wide radius, like a rounder, like it sticks out tiles instead of just going straight in front of her, um, is really, really nice for healing a, a huge group of, uh, of your allies. So you can kind of spread your dudes out a little bit more and they're not going to be like not getting healed because that is not good. You don't want them to not get healed. Um, oh, we got all kinds of them this time. Still only one crystal to defend though, so it shouldn't be that bad. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Doubt we're going to have too many issues. Um... You can actually hit both of those dudes, can't you? You can. I'm just going to let you do that and trust that we will not have any issues. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked, nerd. Now, technically, I'm just going to put you here. In case anybody does get all the way down to here, you'll be able to poke on no matter which side they're on. So you put your Rex here, they could be on either side, and then your Ain wouldn't get to attack. So I'll let him just stand back there and poke everybody down. And I think, am I going to just go after these dudes kind of like one at a time? So I could technically hit them both. The downside is I'll need to have my healer down first. And that's not a big deal. I can do that. Um, what I need him on that tile. I'll just do it like this. I don't think Ain's going to take enough damage to ever be in like danger of deceasing. Um, but he will be getting hit by no, only one. Let's do it like this. There we go. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, see, they don't take too much magic damage. They take more from the, the archers than they do the mages. But this will knock this dude down. Guess we can just go ahead and throw him here, because why not? And then just put you here as well. Get some more damage going out. Yeah, so far no issues. Everything's kind of going smooth. Ten enemies left. Guess I can just kind of really double up on the damage over here to try to finish it out a little quicker. They may get hit by the, the archers. She might die because she has very low health, but I like it when they just kind of explode. Oh, we got an AoE damage, bro, coming in. He's only going to hit Voltus, which is fine because he's actually the one being healed right now, so that's great. And these guys are just walking into like a, a very dangerous area. <laughs> but yeah, these missions aren't too bad. As long as you take care of the, the mages before they start walking, like if you bunch everyone up down here and all four of those dudes come walking at the same time, they're going to hit like all your units at once and you'd need a really, really good healer or a couple of healers to keep your guys from getting killed by that. So taking them out early is always nice. Boom. Getting some more diamonds. How many do we have now? I don't know. 1,200. Okay, so last two deals we got a bot. We got three crystals to defend. This could be interesting. Hmm. Do I want to add another fighter so that we have all the lanes blocked, or am I just gonna be like, nah, we'll be fine? I'm just gonna go with the nah, we'll be fine approach, and we'll see what happens. Um, so probably gonna open up with Ain just because I like him. I'll let him block one tile and aim that way. And then I'll put Rex right here down the middle. The only tile we'll be in danger of losing will be probably on this side. Perfect. Block in. Okay, so this side we'll probably have to poke up, or poke up, stack up with a little bit more damage than the other side. Um, probably get some AOEs going in this way. So I don't want something just to be like, oh, I'm free. Um, so we're gonna have to make sure they go down. And to ensure that, I'm going to probably throw a slowing heat, a dude up here to make sure everybody's kind of taking their time as they walk down this lane. I'll probably throw my healer. I think I'm just going to leave Ain to be okay by himself. I doubt he'll die. I'm not sure he won't, but I don't think he will, which is always the way you want to tackle things, is <laughs> just assuming that you'll be okay. Will you reach? Oh, you won't. That's not where I want you to. Well, never mind. That's exactly where you're going to be. I didn't want you to be there, but you're there. Um, Probably even throw you here as well. But yeah, these guys are going to fuse together. That's going to be a bit annoying, but Rex should be able to tank it, and he's getting healed, so he'll be fine. They're, never mind. They're not even going to make it to him. So I don't have to worry about it. And you will cover this, so I guess I could just run you. Nah, I'll cover the middle. It's dumb just to attack this one area with him. I'll let you kind of take a chunk out of the midsection here. Oh, got some beefy boys. Are they going to stop? Are they Okay, they're, they are going to stop. We're going to go ahead and just pop this. 
Get a little ult going on him. I could freeze everyone here. I guess I can pop your ult as well. Yeah, these guys are getting kind of... Go. Oh, yeah. Take them down. They had the healers behind them, but the healers, like I said, they're not really... Gener they don't seem like they're that dangerous. These are going to fuse into a boss, maybe. I think. Yeah, okay. But last guy, he's already taken tons of damage just from one unit. So I'm not too worried about him. I guess he's already in range of him too, so we'll just pop that as well. Yeah, he's not going to be an issue. Oh no, he's absolutely destroyed. So that wasn't bad at all. Then we'll have to do one more. I'm not sure who the boss is going to be on this one. I wonder if you could avoid fighting that boss if you took down those blobs before they merged. That'd be interesting. A boss wave with no boss? Whatever. Not gonna worry about it too much. We're gonna go ahead and take this down. This will be the last one for the day. Summoning crystals are a reward. Gotta love that. Okay, so I guess it's gonna be more slime bros. It looks kind of like slime bros. But we've got a lot of distance to cover here, and I'm a little worried about that. Um, we have three crystals, and it's all a very wide path back. I don't know if I want to try to stop these guys early or kind of take care of them a little later down the road. What I might do is kind of throw things in like this and then run a lot of my AOE on this side to make sure things don't slip through. Kind of like so. And then probably end up doing the same thing with you. I want to wait for him, or since he'll be blocking that way, perhaps we just really want to block this way. Probably should have had her where Voltus is, but it's too late for that now. What's done is done, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, we do want healers. Where do we want them? I don't want Ain to decease. That would be bad news for us, but we're going to leave him to his own devices and hope that he's okay. Lots of healers coming in here. Hmm, do I want AoE damage, or do I want you to help cover him? Probably do it this way. Because they will, they are going to attack my platform units a little bit, and that's going to be kind of a problem. Ooh, you might be sneaky. He didn't sneak through, but he got close. So I might do this way. Is that a horrible idea? Could be. Could be a bad idea. He's gonna he's gonna absolutely get rinsed and repeated there. <laughs> Saw that coming. Probably probably gonna need some healers for this, or at least one more healer, or a better positioning of my dudes. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the problem is. Um, we'll pop this just so she can start attacking everyone across the whole map. Marine is dead. Yeah, we need the healers. It's hard to get your healers spread out properly on this one. But I don't know. We'll we'll make it work. We can always back it up a little bit further and have, you know, more platform tiles, healers kind of healing everyone on the platforms. I guess I can run you back here as kind of a fail safe in case people start sneaking through. And I can probably just pop your ult. We only have 10 enemies left. So we're fairly close to not having an issue. Ugh, Ain is in danger. One more enemy. Okay, it's just big bro. It's just big bro. We can handle big bro. He's not that dangerous, probably. As long as he's not attacking Ain, he's always going to attack Ain. Oh, there goes Ain. Not a problem. Our tank should be fine. He's got the healer on him. Okay, not not an issue. A little bit of an issue, but not an issue. We managed to make it through. But yeah, having three crystals to fit in a big wide lane like that, having three fighters would have made it a lot easier because you're guaranteed to stop everyone on every lane. Um, but we got it, so I'm not too worried about it. There we go. All right, 415 completed. This will unlock the arena for us. We're not going to worry about that right now. Um, there we go. We got pretty much what I wanted to get done for the day done. Chapter 4 is now complete. That unlocks a new unit slot for us when we go into fights. We also got some of this stuff. Give me all that. More energy. Definitely need it. 2200 is not enough. <laughs> it is enough. We'll need to do our gear raids, though. We might do gear raids tomorrow to get some more stuff for our dudes. We might not, though. Because, honestly, the gear raid early on, until you can make it to, like where you're starting to get better gear, like down towards where you can start farming the purples and stuff, um, which is around, what, 80,000 power? Yeah. You're going to be getting the same crap that I can just buy from the store for a couple thousand dollars. Um, so I'm not too terribly worried about getting to stage 5 in the gear raid. 
Um, stage six will be kind of a nice starting point for us. And then obviously um, stage 10 is like the first big thing to really shoot for because I'd like to start getting legendary gear. That would be great. With that said, though, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget, smash that thumbs up button and show your support, and I will see you guys in the next one.